situated on the northwest Gulf Coast in Franklin County, is one of Florida's most historic port cities. Taking its name from a tribe of Native Americans who once called this place home, Apalachicola is said to mean land of friendly people. It was established in 1831, quickly becoming a bustling port town for shipping cotton. By the end of the century, it was an important center for seafood processing and the oyster industry. Today, Apalachicola is a popular destination for travelers who come to enjoy the town's historic architecture, unique culture, and beautiful natural scenery. This is a place I fell in love with my first trip here more than a decade ago, and you will too once you experience it. On this episode, I'm showing you the best things to see and do in Apalachicola. All of that and so much more, straight ahead. Beautifully preserved buildings dating back to the 1800s make up Apalachicola's historic district. Boutiques, galleries, places to grab a bite to eat or drink are housed either in stately buildings or tucked into warehouses with a tin roof. What I really love about this commercial area is how locals have been able to infuse just enough of a hip vibe while retaining the town's historic charm. This is the Biscuit Factory. My family runs it. Uh, we offer biscuit sandwiches, drinks, uh, goodies. My recommendation for the top biscuit would definitely be the Big Honey Butter Chicken. It's a 4.5 to a 5 ounce chicken breast that we bake in honey butter and put into a biscuit. To this day, there's only one traffic light in town, only one roadway in and out, and if you want to pick something up at the grocery store, you'll be going to the Piggly Wiggly. There are more than 900 historic homes and buildings in Apalachicola, making it a dream destination for history buffs and photographers alike. During the 1800s, dozens of cargo ships and steamboats would have been tied up at these docks along what is today Water Street. The turn of the century Grady Building that once housed the French consulate, captain of the port, and the U.S. Customs Office continues to serve multiple functions. On the ground floor, the Grady Market is a unique shopping experience with a collection of antiques, art, clothing, and gifts while the upper floor is home to the Consulate Suites, a unique lodging option we've had the pleasure of staying in on previous visits. From vintage Victorian homes to rentals by the waterfront, there's no shortage of good places to stay in Apalachicola. This trip we stayed in an 1880s house that was purchased and moved to this location near Battery Park. The home was given a top to bottom facelift and now features five large guest rooms with full marble bathrooms and walk-in showers. There's a common area with a living room and nice kitchen as well. Highly recommend this house when you're in town. The Tin Shed claims to have the most comprehensive collection of nautical antiques and collectibles this side of the Mississippi River. Treasures include anything and everything maritime themed from wooden buoys and lanterns to portholes, compasses, and glass fishing floats.
If you're looking for that one unique souvenir to take back home, this is where you're going to find it. One of the most important and I would consider necessary inventions of all time happened here in Apalachicola during the 1840s. Looking to lower the temperature in the sick rooms of his yellow fever patients, Dr. John Gorey developed a mechanical device that produced ice. That machine laid the groundwork for modern refrigeration and the air conditioning we all benefit from today. This museum features exhibits about Gorey's life and work as well as the history of Apalachicola. Many local boat tour companies offer trips around Apalachicola Bay and the surrounding waterways. Everything from dolphin watching and eco tours to airboat rides and fishing charters are available in Apalachicola. We have a list of recommendations on our website. Too many places to name in the Apalachicola area where you can get in touch with nature. Tate's Hell State Forest covers more than 200,000 acres and is good for fishing, camping, and hunting. St. Vincent Island is only accessible by boat, but an excellent spot to view migratory birds or spend a day kayaking. The Apalachicola National Estuarine Reserve is home to everything from gators to bald eagles, while a nature center helps visitors better understand the area's diverse ecosystem and its importance to the people who live here. Sitting atop the highest point in the city of Apalachicola is this antebellum mansion that belonged to cotton merchant Thomas Orman. Today, the property is a state park that includes a small botanical garden. Apalachicola is a destination for seafood lovers year-round, with restaurants serving up fresh catches from area waters. But every November, people from all over the nation descend on Apalachicola to sample the best seafood dishes from the Gulf of Mexico. A couple of festival highlights include an oyster eating contest and the blessing of the fleet, a ritual where local fishermen parade their boats in front of festival goers and receive a blessing for a safe, and bountiful fishing season. A short drive from downtown Apalachicola, St. George Island has more than 20 miles of pristine beaches. It's a popular destination known for fishing, kayaking, boating, and other outdoor activities. Standing at the center of the island is the Cape St. George Light, the fourth reconstruction of the historic lighthouse first erected in the 1830s. Grounds also include a gift shop and museum. There's a nominal fee to climb to the top. Located on St. Joseph Bay, the folks here in Port St. Joe like to say they have a small town with a big heart. In addition to shops and restaurants in the downtown area, you'll find a state park with a museum that celebrates Florida's first constitution. A number of lighthouses have served as beacons near Cape San Blas over the years. After being decommissioned, this one was moved to its present location for visitors to appreciate. That's it, our look at the 10 best things to see and do in Apalachicola. Leave us a comment and let us know if you've ever been to this historic port town. 
If you appreciate tips like these, be sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to visit our website where we have more recommendations, maps, and links to the places we mention in our travel guides. One last thing before we go, we've made lots of videos over the years from Florida and beyond. Check out our travel guides in the archives to help you plan your next vacation or weekend getaway. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.